Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcastage. My name's Bander and I'm back with a tutorial video for you guys. So I have received countless comments from people asking for advice on how to hook up an XLR microphone to your computer or your PC. So I thought today I would do a tutorial showing you a few different ways and a few different interfaces that you can use to actually connect an XLR microphone to your computer. Here's the Shure SM58. This is a dynamic microphone. The Neewer NW700. This is an electric condenser microphone. This is the Audio-Technica AT2020. This is a full condenser microphone. This is the first setup we're gonna be trying. This is an XLR to USB cable. This is the second setup we're gonna be testing out. This is the USB sound card. And in order to use this, you actually need to have an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable. This is the fourth setup we're gonna be trying. It's using the USB sound card again, so we still have the USB sound sound card and the XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable, but we added the phantom power supply and we also need an additional XLR to XLR cable. And the last thing we're going to be testing out is an actual USB audio interface that allows you to plug an XLR to XLR cable directly into your computer. Okay, so we're going to start with an XLR to USB cable and show you how to set this up on the computer. So this one's pretty easy. All you have to do is take the USB end of the microphone cable, plug it into your USB port, Take the XLR end and plug it into your dynamic microphone. And this is what it sounds like. So once you have your dynamic microphone connected to your computer using the XLR to USB cable, you go into your audio input settings, you make sure the correct device is selected, and then all you have to do is set your audio gain. Right here, my microphone input is set at 25%, and you can see I have a little bit of audio room up here to play around with. So if I needed to make it louder, I could do that. And this is just what it sounds like. It sounds pretty nice for a very cheap setup for an $11 XLR to USB cable. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and test out the USB sound card, and I will be using a new Sabrent USB sound card that provides about three volts to the microphone. Now with the USB sound card, you will need to be using an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable. So using a USB sound card is also incredibly easy. All you have to do, plug it into your USB port like that, plug the microphone into the correct microphone input port on the sound card, take the XLR end and plug it into your electric condenser microphone like that. Okay, now once you have your electric condenser microphone plugged directly into your USB sound card, you go into your input settings and you make sure the correct device is selected. And as you can see right now, my microphone input gain is set at 100% to get decent volume. It's still not even that loud or that usable and there is quite a bit of background noise. So this is just proof that the newer Sabrent USB sound card does not provide enough voltage to get an NW700 or any other electric condenser microphone to work. Now setting up this one is slightly more complicated just because the number of cables has doubled, um, but we're gonna go ahead and walk you through this as well. So first thing you do, you're obviously gonna plug in your USB sound card. Then you have the phantom power supply. You plug in the AC adapter to the phantom power supply. Then you plug this into your wall. Then you take your XLR to XLR cable. You plug it into your microphone. Then you take the other end of the cable and you plug it into the input portion of your phantom power supply. Then you take the XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable that came with your BM700 or NW700 or anything like that. You plug the XLR end into the output of your phantom power supply. Then you take the 3.5 millimeter end and you plug it into your USB sound card. And then the last step, you turn on your phantom power supply. So once you've connected your electric condenser microphone to your phantom power supply and your phantom power supply into your USB sound card. You go into your input settings on your computer, make sure the correct device is selected, and then set your input gain. Right now I am set at about 25% and it seems to be a good volume for me. It leaves a little bit of headroom up here but it's still at a nice volume. I don't have to do much editing in post. Okay, so this is my favorite option. This is an actual USB audio interface that's designed to actually interface an XLR microphone with your computer. And this one's pretty easy to set up as well. So the first step is you take the USB end of the cable, you plug it into your computer, then you take your XLR to XLR cable, 
you plug it into your microphone, you take the other end and plug it into your USB audio interface, and then lastly, you turn on your phantom power. So once you have your full condenser microphone plugged into your USB audio interface with an XLR to XLR cable, you go into your audio input settings, make sure the correct device is selected, and unfortunately I can't adjust gain on here. The gain is controlled on my actual audio interface so you can adjust the volume there. So yeah, those were four different ways to connect your XLR microphones to your computer pretty easily and pretty cheaply. Of all those setups, I would recommend probably getting a dynamic microphone uh, along with the XLR to USB cable or investing in a condenser microphone and getting an actual audio interface that's designed to power condenser microphones. And I think that's what will get you the best sound. All right, guys, well, I guess that will do it. If you do have any more questions about this, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you found the video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give me a big old thumbs down. If you want more, click subscribe and click on the logo in the corner. Don't forget to vote for the microphones you want reviewed next, as well as following me on all the social media stuff. Links to that in the video description down below, and I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.